Hello, good evening, Laura. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good, and you? I'm pretty good too. Thank you so much for asking. All right, welcome back. Let's wait maybe one more minute to see who else is getting into the class, all right? And give me one second, voy a parar la cámara un ratito porque voy a conectar el cargado, right? <laughs> Good evening, Adriana Guerra. How are you, Adriana? Good evening. <clears throat> How are you, Adri? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le va? Bien, gracias a Dios. All right, excellent. You're fine. Thanks, God. All right, good to have you in class. Let me see. We have Juan Francisco. Hi, Juan. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. And you, teacher? How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. I'm so happy to meet you guys. All right. I'm so happy to see you. Estoy muy emocionada por conocerlos y por trabajar con ustedes en este nivel, ¿verdad? Como docente, estoy a cargo de ayudarles en todo lo que ustedes necesiten relacionado a los exercises de la plataforma, right? Algunos de ustedes ya tengo el placer de conocerlos, a otros no, right? Entonces, vamos a ver cómo nos vamos desarrollando ahí. Uh, just for you to know, para que ustedes eh, tengan en cuenta, my name is TV Eunice Arevalo López, right? Ese es mi nombre. Ustedes pueden llamarme Miss Arevalo. O Lick Arevalo, whatever you want, como ustedes deseen, o simplemente pueden decirme teacher, right? Si tienen alguna duda o consulta. Es un gusto tenerlos, bienvenidos a este nivel. Siempre les voy a recomendar que avancen lo más posible en su platform. No sé si algunos de ustedes ya tuvieron el placer de andar viendo cómo está la platform, cómo están los primeros exercises. A ver, ¿algunos de ustedes ya entraron? Yes, no, Miss. <laughs> Hmm, son tímidos. Sí. All right. So I want to assume, voy a asumir que sí, quizá ya vimos los sensors, right? Bueno, solo algunas generalidades del curso que quiero darles, everyone. La primera es que siempre que nosotros encontremos una falla en una palabra o reconozcamos que nos cuesta decir o pronunciar esa palabra, Vamos a repetirlas tres veces, right? For example, supongamos que yo no puedo repetir la palabra works. Entonces, teacher Arevalo o Miss Arevalo les va a decir, repeat three times, right? Repeat three times. Lo que significa que ustedes tienen que repetirlo tres veces, right? This is mandatory. Esto es, es como mandatorio, right? Para que ustedes lo tomen en cuenta y puedan aprovechar más su participación. All right. Entre más practiquen, mejor, mejores estudiantes serán. All right. Van a poder adquirir mejor el conocimiento y lo van a poder desarrollar en una mejor manera. All right. Otra cosa, siempre que ustedes necesiten ayuda con algún exercise, por favor, háganme saber. All right. Y con tiempo. Ok. Me dicen, mi Sarevalo, mire, tengo problemas con este exercise. Yo pongo esto, pero no me sale y pues ya no, ya no sé cómo avanzar. Right. Entonces, para que no entremos en ese mental breakdown, para que no entremos en esa brecha mental, ustedes vienen, me escriben, y yo con todo gusto les voy a ayudar a resolver el exercise. All right, are we clear? ¿Estamos claros? Yes, yes Tisha. All right, excellent. Yes. Very good. Hi, Azucena. How are you? I'm happy. <laughs> You're happy, all right. Excellent. Good to see you and good to have you, all right? All right, everybody, as I told you before. Today, 
<laughs> Today we're going to start with section one, all right? We are in level two, beginner two, or beginners two. And we are in section one. My sister works downtown, all right? Class one. Siempre les voy a pedir que ustedes puedan tomar eh, ¿cómo se dice? notas de lo que ustedes vayan viendo en la clase, porque eso les va a facilitar. Claro está, de vez en cuando yo les voy a enviar las PPTs, pero si en dado caso a mí se me olvida enviar una PPT, es mejor que ustedes tengan sus notas propias, right? Para que puedan practicar. Usualmente yo hago la retroalimentación en cada clase, voy haciendo preguntas diversas del contenido que ya hemos visualizado anteriormente. Entonces, para ello es necesario que ustedes tengan sus notas, right? No van a estar en el momento, tal vez estamos conectados del cell phone y no vamos a poder buscar en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? La PPT en ese momento. Entonces, es mejor que tengan sus notas. All right, we have transportation in the U.S., all right? Top eight transportation ways to get to work, right? Top eight ways to get to work, right? El top... Número 8 de formas en las cuales nos transportamos, nos transportamos hacia el trabajo, right? O lo que utilizamos para llegar a nuestro empleo. Primero, y esto va a ser para cada vez que tengamos vocabulary. Let me see. Hi, Regina. Thank you. Welcome. All right, let's continue. So let's see. We have drive, right? Siempre, eso es lo que les quería comentar. Que siempre que tengamos vocabulary, mi sarevalo, my person, siempre voy a leerles el vocabulario primero para que ustedes lo tomen en cuenta y se les facilite la, el momento de la pronunciación, ¿ok? Listen, drive, drive, walk, walk. Aquí no pronunciamos la L, right? Walk. Walk. Take the bus. Take the bus. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the train. Take the train. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Or take a cab, right? Or take a taxi cab. Either or. Tienen esas diversas maneras, right? Take a taxi. Okay, so let's see. Ahora que ya les di el vocabulary, Vamos a ver qué tal lo hacemos. Una sugerencia o algo que les quiero comentar es que al momento en que ustedes les toque participar, no tengan miedo, right? Ni pena. Si sienten que se van a equivocar en una y no la quieren decir, me avisan para poder ayudarles yo en la pronunciación, ¿ok? Believe me, pronunciation is really important. La pronunciación es muy importante porque al comunicarnos con los demás, queremos que ellos nos entiendan, right? Ese es el propósito. Entonces, tenemos que saber pronunciar bien. Here we go. Let me start with Adriana Guerra. Adriana, can you please tell me the vocabulary? Hello. Hi. Can you tell me the vocabulary, please? Me da este vocabulary? Dry. Mm -hmm. Walk. Walk. Take the bus. Take the, the bus. Take the su, su subway. Subway. Take mm -hmm. the train. Take the train. Uh huh. Train. Ride a bike. Ride a um, motorcycle. Model cycle. Mm -hmm. Take that a taxi, take a car. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there you have it, Adriana. Thank you. Let's go with Juan Francisco, please. Your turn. Try. Walk. Take the bus. Take the subway. Take the train. Ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. Take a taxi and take a cup. That's correct. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you. Let's go with Esmeralda Portillo, please. Okay. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. Excellent, thank you, thank you. Let's go with Manuel Eduardo, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. The number one is, thank you. Uh, the number one is drive, the number two walk, three, uh, take the bus, four, take the subway, five, uh, take the train, six, ride a bike, seven, ride a motorcycle, eight, take the taxi or take a cup. Excellent, sir. Thank you, Eduardo. Very good. Let's go with Azucena Castro, please. Um, and number one, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, Ride a motorcycle, eight, take a taxi, or take a cab. Excellent, thank you, Azucena. Let's go with Laura Pamela, please. Uh, one, ride, two, walk, three, take the bus, four, take the subway, five, take the train, six, ride a bike, Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi. O, take a cab. Excellent, thank you, very good. Let me have Ronnie Avalos, please. Hello, Ronnie, are you there? Okay, maybe he has problems with his mic. Let's go with Miguel Morales. Please tell me the vocabulary. Drive, walk, take a bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Regina, please. Regina Fuentes. Okay. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. All right, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Regina. Let's go okay. with Leonel. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride the bike, ride the mm, motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab. All right, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Sandra Janira Hernandez, please. Good evening. Good evening, Sandrita. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride the bike, 
triangular circle, take the taxi, take the cab. All right, that's correct, Sandrita. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Mr. Reyes, please. Y me hace el favor de mencionarme su nombre. Mr. Reyes. Hello. Hello, good evening. Eh, mi es Estreberto, es un poco complicado pronunciar. No se preocupe, me pasa lo mismo con mi nombre, all right? No se preocupe. Ok. Eh, write, work, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take, take a car. All right, excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. And the last one, we have Jaime Ernesto Elias, please. Okay, well, good evening. Good evening. Um, drive, walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the, take the train, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi or take a car. That's correct, sir, excellent. All right, everybody, there you have it. Easy peasy, right? Bien facilito el vocabulary. Right? Vamos a ver, ¿para qué nos ayuda esto? Bueno, vamos a ver el simple present. Así que es bueno que ya llevemos estos verbs. Porque estos son, no solo son medios de transporte, sino que llevan su propio verbo, right? Its own verb. All right? So let's move on. How do you get to work? All right? This is a practice time for you. So let me ask you guys, how do you get to work? Let's see, Manuel Eduardo, how do you get to work? I sometimes take a bus or take a taxi. All right, that's correct, excellent. Thank you, sir. I forgot to tell you, we have these ones. Ustedes pueden crear sus propias oraciones, right? Y si no pueden utilizar una de las que está aquí. En el caso de Manuel, él creó las propias suyas, which is amazing, right? Lo cual es grandioso. Right? Pero tenemos esta. I drive to work. I take the bus. I ride my bike to work. Right? So let's go with Laura, Pamela. Let's see, Laura, how do you get to work? I drive to work. All right, excellent. Very really good. Let me see, Jaime Ernesto, how do you get to work? Uh, I drive to work. All right, very really good. Asasena, how do you get to work? I take the bus. All right, very good, thank you. Let me see, Miguel Morales, how do you get to work? I drive to work. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Juan Francisco, how do you get to work? I take the bus. All right, excellent. Adriana Guerra, how do you get to work? I take the bus. All right, I take the bus. Very good. Regina Fuentes, how do you get to work, Regina? Uh, I travel with a uh, um, co co work co worker, sería teacher. Yeah, co worker actually. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, that's correct. So. I traveled with my core worker. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. Excellent, Regina. Very good. And let's go with Leonel. Hey, Leonel, how do you get to work? Uh, I drive to work and I take the bus. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Let me have es Estreberto Reyes, please. I drive to work. Right? Oh, I, someone will preguntarle, how do you get to work? <clears throat> I, die, I drive to work. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, everybody. Let's take into consideration this one, right? What are some other kinds of transportation? ¿Cuáles son otros tipos de transporte que tenemos? Let's think about it. Y me dicen, all right? Piensen, piensen, piensen y me dicen cuáles son otros tipos de transporte que tenemos. 
I don't know if it's correct. Take the Uber. Uh, take the Uber. It's uh -huh. It's correct because it's almost like take a taxi, right? Take the motor taxi. Uh, take the motor taxi. Exactly. Ride a horse. También. <laughs> Ir en un caballo. Ride a horse. It's a mean of transportation. Play in boat. Ah, uh, exactly. Okay. Okay, that's correct. Somebody else, otro. Bueno, in another country, in otros países, al bus le llaman camión, right? Entonces, algunas personas sí tienen que viajar en, cam en camión, right? En las mañanas para transportarse. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jaime. I have, I, have, I have heard el metro. Ah, oh, right, the train. It's like the train. No, en realidad el metro es como el subway, porque es subterráneo. Ah, ok. Take the subway, right? Like the subway is the same that take the, tomar el metro. Uh -huh. Something like that. Exactly, that's correct. Pero es subterráneo. Ya el train, los trains ya pasan eh, al aire libre o por encima de las calles, right? Pero el subway sí es subterráneo. Como usted mencionó, es el metro. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, everybody, there you have it. Very good. Ahora vamos a una conversation time, all right? I love the conversations that we have in this, uh, in this level. So we're going to practice a lot. Listen carefully, como siempre, yo voy a leerla primero. Ustedes van agarrando la intonation y luego les toca a ustedes, right? Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. All right? Very good. Entonces, como notamos aquí, eh, parte del public transportation también están los trenes, right? Es parte del public transportation en esos países. OK, ahora vamos con ustedes. Let me have Regina Fuentes. Regina, ustedes Ashley. Y Juan Francisco, ustedes Jason. Action. Nice car, Jason. It is, is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the sub, sub, suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near, near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. All right, excellent, guys. Very good. You, respect, you were respectfully using the question marks and the punctuation marks. Very good. Muy bien. Buena intonation. Thank you. Let me have... Let me see. Ahora vamos con Manuel Eduardo. Manuel, you are Jason. Y Laura, Pamela, you are Ashley. Action. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the Sub, subroot? No, it's in uh, downtown. My parents work, don't work, but they don't ride to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train don't stop near our house, so they take the bus, it's really slow. That's too bad. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Very good intonation. I could feel that. All right. 
We'll send it as intonation. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Azucena. Azucena Perez. You are going to be Ashley. And let me look for a pair. Jaime Ernesto, you are Jason. Action. Teacher, cuando dijo Azucena, ¿se refiere a mí o hay otra Azucena? <risa> no, usted es la única Azucena que tengo aquí. Azucena. Ah, ok. Es que como, como dijo Pérez, yo me quedé así como quizás hay alguien más. Sorry, sorry. Ok. Don't worry. Uh, nice Don't car, worry. Jason. ¿Es this yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No. It's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't try to work. They use the public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really so. That's too bad. All right, excellent, guys. Very good. Good intonation, good pronunciation. Let's go with Carla Fabiola Cruz. You are Ashley and Lionel, you are Jason. Action. Eh, disculpe, teacher, casi no le alcancé a escuchar quién me tocaba. Es que hay algo de voy en mi pasaje. Ah, ok, Carlita. No se preocupe. Usted es Ashley y Lionel va a ser Jason. Ah, ok. Um, Nice car, Jason. Is yours? It is yours. No, it's my sister's. She has a new hub and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents go downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train. They so try them stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. All right, excellent guys. Thank you. Applause for you. Let me see, Carlita, repeat after me. Uh, doesn't. Eh, ¿Mande, teacher? Repita después de mí, please. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right. Doesn't. Doesn't. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Let's okay. move on. Let's move on. Let me see. Who else am I missing? Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, you are Ashley. And Miguel Morales, you are Jason. Action. Okay, uh, nice car, Jason. It, is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new home. Can she drive to work? Is her job here in the... There you go. Continue. Continue, guys. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public tra transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. All right. Excellent, guys. Very good job. All right. Listen, we're going to stop just like in here. Vamos a hacer un breve, eh, un breve anuncio, right? Quiero comentarles y recordarles que, por favor, no olviden. Les voy a decir esto ya por si se me olvida al final de la clase, right? No olviden comenzar a trabajar ya en la platform, ¿ok? Tienen que avanzar. Recuerden que el tiempo que les dan es preciso, all right? 
Entonces, si ustedes al ir averiguando en la section one encuentran alguna duda o consulta, me pueden preguntar. Otra cosita que también les quiero mencionar. Si supongamos, supongamos que para mañana no terminamos la section two, que mañana no logramos terminar la section dos, usted, pero a ustedes les piden que avancen en eso, ustedes tienen que avanzar porque yo aquí en la clase vengo a desarrollar el contenido que se encuentra en los vídeos. Lo desarrollamos, discutimos algunos temas relacionados, si ustedes tienen con algún exercise. Entonces, es necesario que ustedes vayan one step further, right? Un paso adelante, right? Basically. Claro está, yo siempre voy a mostrar aquí los temas, siempre los voy a desarrollar, pero no quiero que se vayan a quedar atrás, ¿ok? Let's move on. Simple present statements. Otra cosa, si ustedes en algún momento, yo como docente tengo que hablar inglés, right? Ese es el propósito, para que ustedes puedan aprenderlo. Pero si en algún momento ustedes eh, se sienten perdidos o no me comprendieron algo, siéntanse en total confianza de decirme si les puedo repetir algo en español o si se los puedo traducir, right? No quiero que se queden con ese espacio en blanco, es mejor que me digan. Right? Very good. So we have simple present statements, positive statements, negative statements. Okay? So here we go. Let me see. We have I walk to school. Primero lo voy a leer yo y después les toca a ustedes, right? I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. They use public transportation. Negative statements. I don't live far from home. Oh no, I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. Right? Then we have contractions. Don't, la contraction, cuando ustedes escuchen el don't, ya saben que es la contracción del auxiliar do, auxiliary verb do, and not, right? Para hacerlo más corto, hacemos una contraction y solamente decimos don't. Lo mismo con el doesn't. El doesn't es la contraction del does, not, del auxiliar does, plus the negative not, unidos hacen doesn't, all right? Hay que tener eso bien claro. Ya vamos a ver cuándo utilizamos cada uno de ellos, right? Y cómo van a variar. Let's work with the vocabulary right now. I'm going to have... Estreberto Reyes, please give me the positive statements and Esmeralda Portillo, usted me va a decir los negative statements. Pero necesito que vayan uno y uno, ¿ok? For example, de Estreberto, usted comienza con este positive y Esmeralda le va a seguir con el negativo, ¿ok? Action. I want to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We like we our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let me have Juan Francisco. Usted va a ser positive statements. Y Carla Fabiola, you are negative statements. Action. I walk to a school. I don't live. Yes, I don't live far from here. Uh, far from here. I don't live far from here. 
you ride your bike to school? You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. No, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Downtown. Downtown. Down. Downtown. Es que ahí es bien complicada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. No se preocupe. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a card. All right, that's correct. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Let me see. Yeah, I have my microphone open. All right, listen. Don't forget, everybody. Don't forget. Que no se nos olvide. Esta palabra no se pronuncia eh, live, sino que es live, right? We live with our parents. We don't live alone, all right? Sesuna, let's go with the next ones. Let me have Manuel Eduardo, please, and Azucena. Manuel, you are positive statements and Azucena, negative statements. Okay. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school? You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. We don't live alone. They don't need? Okay. Lo siento, es mi internet el que está lento. Eh, they don't need a card. All right, excellent, Azucena. No se preocupe, right? Yo comprendo. Excellent. All right, let's go with Lourdes. Lourdes, you are positive statements. And let me see, Estreberto Reyes, please. You are negative. Action. I walk to school. I don't like. Uh, eh, esa sí no sé cómo se pronuncia la. la I don't live. Live. Ah, uh, I don't live y lo, lo demás es. Far from home. I don't live far from from here. No, sí. Sí. From, from far from here es cierto. Disculpe. Here. That's correct. Okay. I don't live far from here. You you ride your bike to school. You don't do lie in here. You don't live. He work. For, for don't worry, Lewis. Continue. He work near here. <clears throat> he does to he does work don't to. Downtown. No sé si me escuchó este Alberto. Downtown. Downtown. Down. Ay, qué complicado. Downtown. She takes. Da, the este. He does. Da. She. She does it work. We live with our parents. We do live alone. They use public transportation. They don't they don't need a car. All right, excellent guys. Thank you so much. Very good. Now, let's just remember or let's just recall the pronunciation of these ones. Don't, doesn't, don't, 
doesn't live 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 all right let's keep it into our minds all right let's go with laura laura you are positive statements Lionel, you are negative statements action i walk to school i don't live far from here you read your bike to school you don't live near here he works near here he doesn't work downtown she takes the bus to work she doesn't drive to work we leave your our parents we don't live alone they owe public transport transportation they don't need a car all right, that's correct. Excellent, thank you. Now, let me have a Adriana Guerra. You are positive statements. Miguel Morales, you are negative statements. Action. Okay. I will ask to school. I don't like far from here. You ride your bike at the school? You don't like near here. He got new here. He doesn't work downtown. She stayed the bus the girl. She doesn't drive to work. We live with her parents. We don't live alone. They house public transportation. They don't need a car. All right, excellent. Miguel, repeat after me. Live. Live. Three times. Live. Mm -hmm. Live. All right, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Regina, Regina, usted todavía no ha pasado, right? No, no, no. Okay, Regina. Entonces, usted será negative statements y Orlando Echeverría, usted será positive statements. Action. I walk to a school. I don't live far from here. All right. The bike to a school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. We live with our parents. She doesn't drive to work. And they use public transportation. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. All right, excellent, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. We're doing good. Now, so far, so good, right? Hasta ahorita, vamos comprendiendo un poquito cómo vamos a utilizar el simple present, all right? Vamos a ver qué sigue. Simple present structure. Easy peasy for you, right? Recuerden que el simple present está un poco aislado, sino que totalmente, si no es que totalmente aislado del verb to be. All right? Les digo esto para que no nos vayamos a confundir. ¿Ok? Simple present structure. Voy a necesitar a... Manuel, can you please tell me the structure? Me lee la estructura, please. Is a subject, a verb, and complement. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Subject plus verb plus complement. Very good. Then we have these guiding sentences, right? We only have two. Let's see. I'm going to have... Juan Francisco, can you please read them? Number one, I walk to a school. Number two, I take the bus to work. All right, excellent, thank you. Listen, everyone, espero que este vocabulary ya lo hayan copiado, right? Algunos de ustedes, y si no, pues los invito a que lo hagan later. 
Yo voy a subir la grabación después de la clase, tipo 10.30, 10, o a las 11 es probable que ya esté en la plataforma. Yo la subo antes, pero se tarda mucho, right? Entonces, por si ustedes no lo han copiado, pues, you can take advantage of that and then you copy this part. ¿Por qué? Porque es necesario que ustedes tengan esas, eh, esos verbs, porque los van a utilizar, all right? Como ya leyó Juan, thank you, Juan. Tenemos I walk to school. Vamos a hacer un breve o pequeño análisis de esto. Let's see, Azucena, ¿cuál sería mi subject en la número uno? I. ¿Y cuál sería mi verb? The verb is walk. ¿Y el complement? To school. That's correct. Thank you, girl. Very good. Let me have lower this, lower this. What's the verb in number two? ¿Cuál es el verbo en la número dos? Let's see, maybe the internet, it's not working. Yeah, she's out. Let's see, Regina, what's the verb take. in number two? Take. Mm -hmm. Take. And what's my complement, Regina? The boss to work. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And what's my subject then? I. That's correct. Very good. All right. Easy peasy. Estas son eh, facilitas, por así decirlo, right? El simple present es un poco más fácil porque ya no hacemos uso del verb to be. Si ustedes se fijan, la estructura no nos pide verb to be, right? Porque es una cosa aislada, es un tópico aislado del simple present. Básicamente, el simple present lo utilizamos para actividades diarias. I brush my teeth every day. Yo me lavo los dientes todos los días, right? I take a shower every two days. <laughs> Tomo una ducha cada dos días, all right? For some of you, I don't know. I'm just saying it's not true, all right? So it's going to depend. El, ver, el, el simple present se utiliza para actividades diarias, habitual actions, acciones habituales que realizamos, right? For example, um, supongamos que todos los días en la mañana toman un vaso eh, con agua, right? Entonces, I drink a glass of water every morning. There you have it, a habitual action. Let's see what else do we have. Third person singular, all right? He, she, it drives, all right? Recuerden, esto lo vieron, eh, ya lo veían esto con, en el nivel uno, right? Que para la tercera persona singular vamos a agregarle una S al verbo, right? Claro está, hay muchas reglas gramaticales que tienen que ver con esto, muchos usos en el cual se nos dice que le vamos a cambiar la Y por el IS, right? Entonces, pero poco a poco lo vamos a ir viendo. Tenemos los guiding examples. Voy a necesitar. Laura Pamela, can you please read example number one? Perdón. Can you please read example number one? El ejemplo número uno. Marta walk to work every day. Every day, that's correct, thank you. Let me have Miguel Morales, number two. Pablo ride his bike every morning. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Esmeralda Portillo, number three. The weather changes every three months. All right, excellent, very really good. All right, there you have it. Cada uno de estos. Recuerden que no se nos olvide que el it, y creo que el video en la plataforma lo menciona también, el it se utiliza para animales, cosas, objetos, right? No se suele utilizar para human beings, right? No se suele utilizar para seres humanos o cosas humanas, right? So, let's see. Quiero que tengan esto en mente porque en este caso, como yo estoy hablando de un estado, estamos hablando del weather, el clima, entonces yo le agregué changes. Right? Le cambié, le agregué la S. Lo mismo aquí, Pablo writes. Right? No puedo decir 
Pablo ride his bike every morning. No. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no puedo decir Pablo ride his bike every morning? Because he's in third person. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Simple as that. Third person singular. Entonces, no me lo permite. All right. No se puede, no suena bien y la regla gramatical nos dice no, you cannot. All right. Si ya copiaron estos examples, nos vamos a ir a otra information que tengo por aquí. It says, look at that. Auxiliary verbs do and does. All right. Listen, los auxiliaries son bien importantes porque nos ayudan a dar un mejor énfasis de lo que queremos transmitir. Pero hay ciertas reglas que tenemos que respetar con los auxiliaries. All right. Um, let me see. We use do for the pronouns. ¿Qué pronouns vamos a utilizar ahí? Let me see. Fabiola Cruz. ¿Para qué pronouns voy a utilizar do? Sinceramente, teacher, aquí sí ando bien perdida. O sea, no, no me ubico bien todavía como para right. ocupar bien una utilidad. Sí, no se preocupe. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender ahora, cómo utilizarlo. Solo quería que me leyera estos pronouns que tenemos aquí. Los subject pronouns. Um, I, you, we, um, they. That's correct. Excellent, Fabiola. Very good. Very good. Let's go with does. What subject pronouns can I use with does? Estreberto Reyes. Me dice los subject pronouns, please. He, she, he, it. Very good. That's correct. All right. Quizás algunos ya reconocíamos esto, ya lo habíamos visto, pero siempre mantengámoslo refrescándolo, right? Siempre hay que mantenerlo en mucho refresh, esta information, all right? Vamos a ver, nos dice que el do solo lo utilizo para la, you, we, and they. Que no se nos olvide esto, all right? Luego nos dice, para el dos, ah, sí, en el dos utilizas third person singular. Tercera persona singular. Y ahí terminamos, right? Ahí terminamos esa parte. Si ya copiaron, déjenme preguntarles, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta hasta aquí de esto, de los auxiliares? No? Everything clear? Yes, clear. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you, girl. Let's see. Then we have... Right. Then we have negative structure. Para use, hacer uso de los auxiliares en negativo, porque para eso nos funcionan los auxiliares. Estos auxiliares nos ayudan a hacer la, el simple present en negativo. Right? Tenemos el subject. Vamos a ver quién me lee esta estructura. Ay, ¿por qué no me deja arrastrar esto? Aquí está. All right. Let me see. Voy a necesitar. Miguel Morales, please. Me lee la estructura. Subject plus don. Eh, Or doesn't. doesn't plus ver plus complement. All right, that's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you. All right, así está la estructura, mis queridos participantes. All right. Está bastante fácil, podríamos decirlo. Porque los objects, tratemos de recordar los objects. Que no se nos olviden, ¿verdad? I, you, she, we, they, he. Right? Vamos a utilizar cualquier subject más el don't. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar el don't? A ver. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar el don't, Leonel? For, for a, I? you, we, ah, perdón. I, we, you, we, y they. That's correct, sir. Very good. Muy bien. Excellent. And let me see, Francisco, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar el doesn't? Entonces. El doesn't se utilizaría con she, he, and it. Very good. ¿Y esos, y esos subjects qué son? First person singular or third person singular? Third. Third person singular. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Very good. 
Y luego nos dice, pues pónganle un verb, right? Démosle sentido. Aunque llevamos un auxiliar, hay que ponerle un verb. Ya vamos a ver qué es lo que va a cambiar en este verb. Y luego, el complement. Vaya, ya teniendo esta estructura, nos vamos por aquí. Let me see, Manuel, can you please read this information? The blue one. The blue one. If you have an auxiliary verb, don't add an S to the following verb. Mm -hmm. That's correct, right? If you have an auxiliary verb, si tenemos un auxiliar, como los que acabamos de ver, don't add an S to the following verb. No le pongamos la S al verbo que le sigue, right? Ya veíamos. Miss, ya, ya me confundí. Ok, vamos, vámonos de nuevo a los examples. Aquí, ¿recuerdan ustedes que hablábamos que para la tercera persona singular vamos a ponerle la S al verbo, right? Eso quedó check, claro. Ahora, cuando utilizamos el auxiliar does, ustedes ya no le van a agregar S al verbo que le sigue. O sea, yo no puedo decir, Abigail doesn't drive to work. Okay, that's not correct. Eso no se puede. All right? Tengámoslo en mente. Well, let's see. Azucena, can you please read the guiding examples? Me lee los guiding examples, please. Okay. okay. Uh, number one. Abigail doesn't drive to work. Two. I don't live near home. Three. Alex doesn't walk to home in the evening. Right, very good. There you have it, right? Estos son examples con el doesn't porque es usualmente donde nos podemos equivocar, right? Creer que como ya me decía la estructura que le agregué una S en tercera persona singular, aquí también se lo haré. No. All right, no, no cometamos ese error. Si tenemos el auxiliary, no lo hacemos. Practice time. Let's practice. Let's see. Bueno, no, esta practice la vamos a hacer mañana. Vamos a avanzar un poquito con esto porque esto va a ser la continuación de mañana. Simple present statements for regular verbs. All right. La clase de mañana vamos a ver some differences between regular and irregular verbs. Right. We have I, you, we, they. Y luego tenemos he, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a bike. Vean cómo cambia completamente la forma, right? We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. They bus, no, the bus goes downtown, right? Ahora voy a tener a Leonel aquí, please, en las primeras oraciones, las primeras tres, y Regina, las que están a la par con tercera persona singular. Right? Recuerden, uno y uno, please. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do all homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by, by, by bus. The bus goes downtown. All right, that's correct. Thank you. Adriana, you are a you we day. Vamos a utilizar estos subjects, Adriana. Usted va a hacer las primeras oraciones. Y Estreberto Reyes, usted va a hacer las oraciones en tercera persona singular. Okay, action. I have a like. My father has a car. We do, we, we do, do, we do her a walk car very day. My mother does a lot of work and help. Home. My parents go do guard by bus. They both go downtown. All right, the bus, the bus goes downtown. All right, everybody. Ahora sí, aquí terminamos ya la clase, right? It was a pleasure to see you. And 
I will see you tomorrow. No olviden avanzar en la platform, right? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye. Miss. Bye. Bye, Bye, Miss. You're welcome. Bye, Miss. Good night. Thank you, Miss. Bye. Welcome. Good night. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.